Welcome to BI 348 Business Analytics Data Analysis and Decision Making in Excel. Hey, this is the introductory video. I want to go over our people website, which has our syllabus, our links for the videos and files. And then I want to go over and look at Canvas. Yes, we have two different websites. Now I'm going to Go back to our people.highline.edu slash mgervin. And if you just remember that part right there, that's the base part of my website. Then when you get here, you click on BI348. Now I want to go briefly look at our syllabus. Your homework day one is to study this syllabus well, because it has all the rules for how this class will be run. Now we'll briefly look at it, so I'll click there. At the top is the table of contents. You can click on any element, such as the schedule, and immediately jump to that part of the syllabus. I'm going to use Control Home to jump back to the top. All right, we have two websites. Here's our people website. We will use it for the introductory video, the syllabus and schedule, the videos that you need to watch, the downloaded files for videos and homework. And this site is always available. So. Later, after the class is over, if you want to watch one of the videos, you can come back to this site. Our other site is Canvas. That's where there will be announcements, discussions areas for asking questions, homework upload links, and your grades that will show you your scores for your homework assignments. This Canvas site is closed down when our class ends, which is Thursday, December 15, 2016, at noon. Now I'll let you read all of that. Requirements for the class. You must have a PC, can't be a Mac. Computer must have internet connection that allows you to watch videos from YouTube and download the Excel files. And your computer must have Excel 2013 or Excel 2016. Now, the computer labs at Highline have Excel 2016. Either one of these will be OK. Can't use a Mac because Mac Excel is much different than a PC Excel. Here's our textbook, and for this class, this textbook is very important. All of your points for your grade come from doing assignments in this textbook. Building 30 has computer labs with Excel if you don't have Excel on your computer. Now, the structure of the class, always start by reading the syllabus, and the schedule will list everything you need to do for each week. And we'll look at that in just a second. For each week, you should do things in this order. Download files and watch the videos. That always comes first in all of my classes, the videos. As you watch the videos, you follow along and practice what you see in the videos. Then you have to read the textbook, then do the homework problems from the textbook in an Excel workbook, which you can upload in Canvas for points towards a grade. And unlike Many of my other classes, there are no tests or quiz in this class. All of the points toward a grade will come from doing homework that you upload to Canvas. Next page is our schedule. Week 1, there's the dates. There's only one video to watch. There's the chapter. There's the pages in the textbook to read. There's no homework. There's no suggested homework. There's no homework to hand in for points. There's no points to no due date because there's no homework. Week 2, here's the dates. You watch videos 2 to 11. Chapter 7 in the textbook, yes, we're jumping from 1 to 7 and then back to 2. There's the pages. There's some homework problems you can do as practice. These are not handed in. These prep you for these homework problems. These are the ones that you'll hand in for grades. There's the points. And there is the due date. Next page, hey, there's a complete listing of all the homework problems. Check this out. There's the chapter, chapter 7. There's the page. There's the number. And notice 2025 5. So the first four homework assignments that are due from chapter 7, there's the points. You'll do them all in one workbook. And there's the date that it's due. So there's all of the homework problems. Now let's look at this. Homework earns points towards your grade. In order to earn credit, you must follow these rules. For each week, you must complete the problems in an Excel workbook using efficient Excel methods. The efficient methods 
will be learned by watching and studying the videos. Your Excel workbook that you create from scratch, you open up a new one for each week. That Excel workbook for homework must have a proper file name. And here it is. If you've been in any other of my classes, you know you got to have your name. So if your name is Sue Rad Coolinator, it's got to be in the file name. Then you have to name it smartly. Homework for week five. If it's for week five, that's how you should name it. You have to use a new sheet for each homework problem, and it should have a smart name like Homework 14. You must upload the Excel workbook file in the home area of Canvas before midnight on the due date. Late homework loses 25% of the points. And of course, you must do all your own work, not have anyone else help you or do your work. If you do, you get a 0, and that's listed later in the cheating section. Canvas gradebook is not correct. And this is actually for all of your classes. If you see a percentage correct in Canvas, don't believe it because it's just for the assignments that you've completed, not all the assignments that are actually for the entire class. So only the scores for each assignment are correct. So when I grade your work, you'll be able to see how many points you got. I will do all the official grading outside of Canvas in Excel. Here's the rules for cheating. If you do violate any of these rules, copy someone else's file, copy their work, have someone else do your work, talk to someone, then you get a zero for your assignment. Grading, there's the grading table. If you get one of these percentages like 80%, your grade is 2.6. And I will let you read the rest of this. I'm going to click the Back button. Now, as we scroll down Chapter 1, there's one file to download. I actually created PowerPoints with many notes. You can read those, and I use these in some of the videos. Here's the video to watch. Now, these videos are at YouTube, so when you click on it, Welcome to Highline Class BI 340. There it is. You can move forwards. So you can move backwards. You can hit Pause. Below the video, very important, there's a Show More button. You can expand this, and there's some notes. Now, this video isn't very long. I want to look at a different video that's longer, because the Show More button will expose a time hyperlink table of contents. I'm going to click the Back button. For Chapter 7, here's all the files to download. And then here's all the videos. If I go to this Video 8 and click on it, Welcome to Highline B. If I go below the video to the Show More, you can see there's a time hyperlink table of contents. You always want to watch the video straight through, but later when you come back and you're trying to do your homework and you're like, I can't remember how to do that, you can simply click on this and it will jump to that section of the video. I'm going to click the Back button. So that's the way it'll go. Files to download, videos to watch. All right, I'm going to Control Home. Now I want to go over and look at Canvas. Canvas is very simple. There's Home. There's some announcements. I haven't made any announcements yet. Discussions. You can post a question here. And your grades, you can go look at your grades. I'm going to go back to the Home ribbon tab. It's all in the Home ribbon tab. That link gets you back to our People site, where the syllabus files and videos are. Here's where you can ask questions. And here are your homework upload links. All right, this is going to be an amazing quarter, BI 348. We'll have fun with data analysis and statistics using Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.